everyday objects with one thing in common, steel, specially coated for long life and attractive appearance. And the chances are that the steel was processed at the same place. British Steel Shotton Works in Clwyd, North Wales. At Shotton, the company has developed one of the world's leading centres for the application of metallic and paint coatings to wide strip steel. Zinc and zinc alloys protect against corrosion, while specially formulated paints, such as plastisols and polyesters, provide an attractive finish as well as adding to the durability of the steel product. With six high-tech coil-to-coil coating lines, the works can produce over a million tons a year of coated products of the highest quality. It's a capacity unmatched on any other site in Europe. End products are used mainly in the automotive industry for car body panels, in building construction for wall and roof cladding, and in the domestic appliance sector for internal and external parts. The highly efficient operation at Shotton regarded as one of the jewels in the British steel crown, is founded on 100 years of experience in protecting steel against corrosion. The original owners of the works, John Summers and Sons, extended their steel manufacturing activities from Staleybridge in North Cheshire to Deeside in North Wales at the end of the last century to meet a growing demand for galvanized sheets, particularly in the Far East, South America and Africa. On land once part of the D estuary, they installed six steam-driven hand rolling mills, annealing furnaces to soften the rolled steel sheets, and galvanizing pots in which the crude sheets, up to 600 tons a week, were coated with zinc. Production started in September 1896, with steel bars for rolling coming mainly from America. This source of supply was unreliable, and so six years later, open hearth steel making furnaces and a bar mill were installed. From then on, steel was made from pig iron and scrap. The strip from the bar mill was rolled backwards and forwards through a hand rolling mill resembling an old fashioned mangle until the required thickness of sheet for galvanizing was achieved. It was hot, dirty work. By 1910, 30 sheet rolling mills and 18 galvanizing pots were in production and the workforce had risen from the original 250 to 3,000. Men came from every part of the country to work at the Harden Bridge steel plant, as it was then known. A second open hearth steel making plant was commissioned in 1917, and Summers became one of the world's largest producers of galvanized steel sheets. Up to 90% of annual output was exported. By the late 1920s, as more countries moved into galvanizing, the traditional overseas markets began to decline, and Summers turned to the production of higher quality steel for the rapidly developing car and domestic appliance industries. The production of thin sheets, uniformly flat and flexible to withstand shaping, was however not possible on the hand rolling mills. And in 1939, following the lead of the Americans, hot and cold continuous rolling mills were installed at Shotton. This new plant played a vital role during the World War, which started that same year, by supplying over two million tons of sheet for air raid shelters and munitions. It was a contribution which merited visits by King George VI and Queen Elizabeth in 1941 and in 1943. 
Steel was still being made from imported pig iron and scrap, and in the early 1950s, the biggest blast furnaces outside America were installed to produce molten iron for a new open hearth steel making plant, with a capacity of over one and a half million tons. These major developments, which made Shotton fully integrated for the first time, were officially opened by the Duke of Edinburgh in April 1953, on what he described as a perfect summer's day. Hot dip galvanizing, still the principal coating activity, was by now carried out on continuous coil-to-coil -coil lines. But by the late 1950s, electrolytically zinc-plated and plastic laminated material produced on sheet lines were also on the list of products available to customers. A further ten years on, and a fifth of the total works output was being coated. The processes now also included paint spraying, electro-nickel and aluminium powder coating, and Shotton was internationally recognized as both a pioneer and a leader in the field of protective and decorative coatings onto sheet steel. Nationalization of the steel industry in 1967 saw ownership transferred from John Summers and Sons to the new British Steel Corporation. In 1974, the works was equipped with a computer-controlled five-stand cold reduction mill and modern annealing and temper rolling plant, and its status as the country's premier coatings location was enhanced further in 1979 by the completion of a new coatings complex with state-of-the-art lines for hot dip galvanizing, electro zinc plating and paint coating. Their combined annual capacity was nearly half a million tons. This major development, costing some 45 million pounds, coincided with the closure of the iron and steel making and hot rolling operations at the works for economic reasons. The last steel was cast on the 22nd of December 1979, sadly ending an era of open hearth steel making, not just on Dee side, but in the United Kingdom. The workforce fell from 10,500 to 3,000. Since then, British Steel has invested a further £100 million in new plant, including additional lines for hot dip coating, electro zinc plating and organic painting providing the facility to coat wider and thinner strip. With the commissioning of the sixth line, the number two color coat line in 1990, the works became the first plant in Europe with a coatings capacity of one million tons. Today, Shotton is a center of excellence within the British steel strip products business. It's highly productive, highly trained workforce is dedicated to the continuous improvement of every aspect of the operation. High priority is given to product standards and customer service, and a total quality performance program requires a commitment from every employee to the right first time philosophy. Quality assurance systems are approved to the international standard ISO 9002. Quality is paramount throughout the production process. At cold reduction, where hot rolled strip from British Steel strip products Port Talbot and Llan Wern works is made thinner, during annealing to restore the softness or ductility to the cold rolled strip so that it can be shaped, during temper rolling to improve surface texture of the uncoated strip following annealing, onto the hot dip galvanizing line where zinc or aluminium zinc coatings are applied in controlled thicknesses on the electroplating lines, which apply finer coatings of zinc or zinc nickel. Or on the color coat lines, where galvanized strip receives a specially formulated paint coating. And having got it right at the process stage, the same quality standards are maintained for packaging and presentation of the finished product for delivery to the customer. With their high strength, good corrosion resistance, flexible coatings to withstand fabrication and forming, and wide color range, Shotton's products are in demand the world over. They are the preferred choice of a growing number of customers. With a century of experience already behind it, the works looks ahead to the millennium 
and beyond with high expectations.